Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Sony Cybershot AGR-1. Now this is an accessory designed for the RX100 and Mark II, as you can see right there, noted on the packaging. And it's literally a rubber grip that will adhere with a double-sided tape uh, backing to the front of your camera. Now this was really a reaction on Sony's behalf to customer feedback. A lot of uh, consumers didn't like the fact that even though this was the greatest pocket camera ever made, it wasn't necessarily the easiest to hold. Yes, there is a thumb grip right here uh, to put your hand on, but when it came to the front end of the body, nothing to grip and hold onto. And it is a relatively weighty camera, despite the fact that it is a pocketable uh, point and shoot that almost yields uh, digital SLR-like results. So uh, Sony noticed that third-party manufacturers were making grips and logically decided, well, if third-party companies are making money off of accessories we should be making and consumers are clearly buying them, why not make our own? So here we've got a grip compatible with both cameras, and these are pretty much the most uh, popular point-and-shoot cameras on the market for good reason. Uh, as you can see, priced directly from Sony by $1499, or excuse me, at $1499. So relatively expensive for what it is, but again, you have to take into account the fact that it is designed and marketed by Sony for this product. So with that said, out of the box it comes. I believe that's it. Nothing else in there. We've got some uh, instructions on how to attach the grip. It's actually a relatively large pad, but that's because... I'm sure we've got a lot of different languages to cover for all the various regions that uh, Sony distributes to. And then finally, this $15 piece of plastic. So as I mentioned before, just a double-sided or just a piece of adhesive layer there. Uh, and some of you might be worried about actually you know, putting something that has an adhesive on your camera, but clearly Sony wouldn't be marketing and uh, selling this if it would in any way damage the product and as you can see even though I haven't put it on yet I don't anticipate having any problems with application and then as far as the fit and finish it's just basically as on point as you could possibly desire and then of course the grip now allows me to hold the camera and actually ha give me a place to rest and hold on to the front end of the camera rather than ju the, just the, uh, the cold brush uh, metal finish that's rounded off and really doesn't support uh, any kind of human hand, at least, in terms of a grip. So uh, a good compliment, finally, to the thumb grip. We now have some true pivots, in my opinion, and that's where even though $15 may seem like a high price point, uh, yes, you are paying for the Sony brand, you are paying for the packaging, you're paying for the fact that it's on a Sony shelf uh, in Sony style. But the reality is, is that if you're going to buy an accessory like this, and I'm not taking away credit from the third-party manufacturers that really gave birth to this whole concept, they deserve credit where it's due, I do recommend at this point going with the Sony one since it is, of course, the perfect match. Uh, that's not to, to take away, again, from the third-party grip. Some of you may prefer them, but for those of you looking for the solution, you can pick up at least on day one with the camera or get readily available um, from any retail outlet, Amazon or otherwise, which I'll be including a link in the description, uh, the AGR1 is probably the best way to go. Of course, I will update all of you on my experience with this add-on and whether or not it ends up being a beneficial uh, upgrade in terms of an accessory uh, for the RX100 and Mark II. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.